Hello. Hello. Checking, checking, Hello. checking. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Carla. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. Nice to hear. Okay. That's great. Let's see, Hello, we have... good evening, teacher. Good evening, Felipe. Sorry, teacher. Uh, yesterday I did not attend the class because I was sick. You were sick, okay. It's okay. Yeah. Hi, Jose. How are you? Good. You can hear me? Okay, great. Let's see. We have Mirna as well. Hi, Mirna. Hello, Mirna. Hello, good evening. I'm glad to have you back, guys. Um, we have a, we're going to have a great class today. I hope you rested. Uh, and if you went to work, I hope you took a shower when you got home and we're ready to start the class. Okay. So who remembers yesterday's topic? Nobody? Frequency adverbs. Frequency adverbs. Okay, so let's start by remembering uh, what frequency adverbs you know. Which ones do you know? Always, okay. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Did you say often, Gloria? Pardon me, teacher. Did, did you say often? Often. Good evening. Hi, good evening, Carlos. Welcome. We are trying to remember the frequency adverbs that we studied. Okay. So they said always. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Sometimes. Okay. What else? Rattly. Rattly, okay. Justin Bieber? Never say never. <laughs> there you go, Maria. Very good. Okay. Okay, we're waiting for the rest. Okay, Patricia, welcome. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Good evening. Good evening, Kenya. Welcome too. And Abigail, welcome. So we're ready to start, guys. We're going to start by um, remembering yesterday's class, yesterday's video. Let me one second, let me do it again because I need to make sure. Oy. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> put your, virus. Yeah, put your mask, please. Okay. <laughs> So let's work on this. I'm going to play the video and we're going to pay attention this time to the structure. The structure we should be using um, when we are structuring um, the frequency adverbs in the simple present. Okay, so let's pay attention and hands on the job. If you want to write down the examples or what we're about to see, Make sure you have paper and pencil handy, okay? Hi everyone, in this session we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Let's listen up. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Okay, so as you can see, there are many uh, frequency adverbs that we can use. So let's see, which ones do you see here? Jose? Jose Cabrero. How? 
it, it should be okay often so we have often See, so we have okay we have often right to describe the frequency y ayer decíamos que la pregunta que va a responder los adverbios de frecuencia es how often con qué frecuencia Okay, so let's continue. Thank you. Um, I think I saw Kenya around there. Kenya? Yes. Okay, what other frequency adverb do you see here on the screen? Every day. Perfect. And what's the meaning? Todos los días. Excellent. Can you use it in a sentence? Uh, okay, I do exercise every day. Perfect, very good, great job. Thank you, Kenya. Abigail? Okay. okay, no, Iris, okay, Iris Palacios. Hello. What other frequency adverb do you see here? Here? Yeah, here. What other frequency adverb do you see here? We we said often. Okay, Kenya said every day. Uh, once a week. Once a week. Okay, once a week. Once a week. Perfect. So, can you use it in a sentence? Uh, si pone la, la oración. Mm -hmm. No, si puede hacer una oración. Ah. Um, I go to the gym once a week. I go to the gym. I go to the gym once a week. Perfect. Very good. Okay. So, you see, guys, this is very simple. And what we're doing is we're using the frequency adverbs on the simple present. So, there's no rock, it's not rocket science. It's something very simple that you can use every day. So let me configure this a little bit more. Hold on, just one second. And we will continue with the exercise that we're doing right now. Okay, here we go. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, Emperatriz, welcome. Uh, uh, hi, good, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, Emperatriz, what other frequency adverb do you see here? We said every day, once a week. Uh, that I want to use. Yep. What other frequency adverb do you see? on the list um let me see uh, hardly ever hardly ever where is it mm -hmm. i don't see any oh there is i hardly ever watch tv okay can you make your own sentence emperatrice uh okay um different right yeah okay i hardly ever eat uh, chinese food okay so you said i hardly ever eat chinese food excellent very good great okay. job simple <laughs> okay. right that's very simple okay Let's talk about someone else. Let's see, Emperatriz, can you select somebody else? Okay, let me check the the classmate. Um, Felipe Linares. Felipe, thank you. Hi. Other um, frequently other adverbs three times. A year. Three times a year. Okay. 
So I swim about three times a year. Can you make your own sentence, Felipe? Uh, I go to the beach times a year. Excellent, very good. Okay. Okay, it's very simple, you see? Now, it's easy to build these sentences. Just keep in mind where the frequency adverb goes, okay? If you notice, these frequency adverbs of time, let's say, uh, go at the end, at the end of the sentence, I lift weights. First, you mention the activity. So first you say what you do, and then the frequency. I lift weights, I go jogging. By the way, what is jogging? Can somebody tell me what is jogging? Trotar? Like yoga? No. No. <laughs> it sounds Trotar. like yoga, right? Uh -huh. It's Trotar. a little bit tricky. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky. Good. Thank you, Impertrice. That's great. Yeah, jogging is trotar. Thank you very much, Carlos, I think. Okay. Uh-huh. I swim about. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often or very much. Okay. So now building a question is different. The frequency adverb goes after the subject. Do you? I mean, you could say, do you watch TV in the evening? Or do you ever watch TV? What's the difference? Maria, can you tell me what is the difference, Maria Guzman? What is the difference between, between, the, between, okay, between do you watch TV in the evening or do you ever watch TV in the evening? Do you watch TV? Um, it, in my opinion, it's a general. And do you ever is how, no, is a, if, if with a frequency? We have frequency, excellent. So what about Spanish, Maria? Is there a difference? Do you watch TV in the evening? What's the meaning? Uh, for example, que si ve televisión en la noche. Excellent. Que frecuencia ve la televisión. Hmm. Mm. You're close. <laughs> okay. Okay, you're hot. You're hot. Está caliente, okay. está caliente. Casi, casi. Okay. Alguna vez. Okay. Do you ever means alguna vez. Ves televisión en la noche, okay? Do you ever watch TV in the evening? See the difference? There's a difference, right? Okay. And then the answer will always be yes. I often watch TV after dinner. Let's see. Who can make that a negative sentence? Carla? Ironto? Um, sentence? Yeah, can you make no. this? Can you make this negative? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. And uh, no, I don't often watch TV. Is I that, don't. I don't often watch TV after dinner. Does that sound? I right? don't often watch. Uh, oh, sorry. No, no, I never watch TV. Yeah, it could be. I don't often, I don't usually watch TV after dinner. Yeah, that's good. So after the neglecting part, after the don't or doesn't, you can add the frequency advert. Okay. Okay, uh, okay so I could say she doesn't always, she's, she doesn't always read the newspaper. She doesn't always play video games. Okay, any questions? No? Yes. No. Yes, teacher. Yes, who? Yes. Uh, me, Imperatriz. Okay. Um, they don't... Uh, I'm going to say in Spanish. <laughs> they don't... Uh, solo se puede usar con el always. In, in forma negativa. Hmm. Let's see. Try it. I don't always eat Chinese food. Hmm. 
Sí. I don't always eat Chinese food. No. No? No, no tiene sentido. Siento Why? Yo. What about... Be, be, because... Look at this, look at this. I don't eat Chinese food. Ah, ok. Ok. I don't always eat Chinese food. Digamos que trabaja en un restaurante de comida china. Y la gente se pregunta, ¿será que todos los días comes comida china? No, <laughs> no siempre como comida china. ¿Ya? Ah, oh, ok. 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 Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Let's see, let's make this one negative. I go to the beach three times a year. Nope. Teacher. Yes. In the third person could be, she doesn't always eat China's food. Totally. Yes, what changes is the third person. You have the third person. Excellent, very good. That was the second class. It was the second class of your basic one. Okay, she doesn't mm -hmm. always eat Chinese food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. She doesn't always eat Chinese food. She prefers Mexican okay. food. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's good. Okay. Let's move on. So, talking about the structure the structure on how we do this we have a subject then the adverb of frequency and then the verb no se les olvide que el verbo no lleva ing no va en pasado es un verbo en su forma base sin el tú sin el lateo sí entonces por ejemplo he never plays baseball as kenya said this is the third person the third person el hecho de que tengas un adverbio de frecuencia no significa que vas a obviar la regla de modificar el verbo en las terceras personas. Eh, vamos a ver a quién no le he preguntado. Ajá, Patricia. Patricia Morales. Ah, ¿Cuáles son las terceras personas? He. Uh -huh. He, he, she. They. He. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Think, think, think. Three <laughs> persons. Third persons. Any help? Mari Elena? I can. Yeah. Third she, persons. He, it. It. Okay. She, he, it. it. Perfect. He, he, she, it. You're welcome. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. yeah. I he, she, it. Teacher, is she, he, uh, it. Yeah. It. He, sh she, he, it, or he, she, it. It's okay. Yes. Third person. And Thanks. One, Thanks. Okay. One, one more thing. This is the topic for the next class, if I'm not mistaken. But, no, it's not for the first, the next class. But if you were not told this the third person i'm gonna take a minute the third person eat can be an abstract subject an abstract subject yes for example the air the government yeah let me see that's misspelled hold on government yeah with a v Ok, government, etc. Puede ser un objeto abstracto, algo intangible. The air, government, water, ok. So, esos los vas a tratar como terceras personas también, solo es un paréntesis, ok. Got it? Ok. Ok, the government builds houses for the poor. El gobierno construye casas para los pobres. The government builds, no obvio la tercera persona, ok, builds houses, ok, <laughs> so let's look at the structure again, subject, adverb, frequency, the verb, and the complement, so let's see, dun, 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 dun. Eric, Eric Quintanilla, welcome, no sé qué. hello, Eric, good evening, Eric, no, 
Okay, I think Eric cannot hear us, so let's see. Carlos, Carlos Escobar, can you help us? Can you make? Okay, okay. Hello. Thank you. Okay, wait, Hello. wait. Where's Eric? Eric, can you hear me? <laughs> Okay, who's talking? Let me mute everyone so you can unmute yourself. I need Carlos Escobar. Okay, okay. Tell me. Thank you, Carlos. Can you build a sentence with this verb in a frequency adverb? Okay. Okay. Uh, give me give me a moment. Uh, I hardly ever go uh, to gym. Okay. Thank you. That was good actually. Gloria, what are we missing here? I hardly ever go to gym. Gloria, what are we missing? No? Okay. Let me help you guys. We're missing the, 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 okay, the, the article. Okay, very good. Yes, Carlos, we were missing the, the gym. I hardly ever go, and remember what I told you yesterday? You can contract on your pronunciation. So if you say, I hardly ever go to, go to the gym. I hardly ever go to the gym. Okay. Teacher, can you hear me? Can you hear? Yeah, I can hear you, Gloria. Oh, I, I have a problem. What? With, with my phone. Oh, really? <laughs> but I, I can hear you. It's okay. Oh. Okay, let me show you something really quick, okay? This is the cases when you use... Teacher, teacher, uh, uh, is correct uh, to, the, to the gym, and, entonces? To the gym, yes, ¿por qué? How to use the definite article, the definite article with familiar places and spaces. So, for example, we use it with places... Uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's practice a little bit, okay? Uh, Gloria. Yes. Can you read the first part? Yes, teacher. Mini English lesson. It says we use the definite article. Ah, uh, okay. We use the definite article, the with places that we visit on a round time basis. Excellent, very good. Repeat, routine basis. Routine. Basis, basis. Basis. Huh? basis. Very good. So for example, what places do you visit? The bank, the library, the beach, the doctor. Okay, very the good. Ma the market. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's good. Let's see. Patricia, can you continue? We use? We use the because we usually have a specific place in mind and a specific word to accomplish. Good. Very good. Listen, we use the because we, we usually have a specific, listen, have a specific place in mind and a specific goal to accomplish there. So we continue, the, okay? And last one, let's see. Jose, can you help us? You're too quiet. Jose Cabrero. Okay, Jose, hello. He's not there, Felipe. <clears throat> This construction in indicates the concept of a place 
and or actual action there. Uh, rather, rather, rather than a specific physical location. Physical location. Physical. Ex excellent. Very good. And we continue with the frequency adverbs. See, she usually goes to the gym after work. See. Mm -hmm. You should go to the dentist more often. Deberías, deberías de ir al gimnasio, al dentista más seguido. The dentist, okay. We are studying at the library. Estamos estudiando en la librería, en la biblioteca. Uh -huh. Okay. He stopped by the post office to mail a package. The post office. Okay. I need to go to the hairdresser. I need to go to the hairdresser. My hair is too long. Okay, I'm, then I'm going to run to the store. Do you need anything? The store, the beach. Les voy a enviar esta imagen solo para que la tengan en cuenta siempre en, en qué lugares de familiares es que se ocupa el artículo the. Es muy importante. Y por cierto, no se pone antes de los países. Eh, los Estados Unidos de América es el único país que lleva en, su, en el nombre de su constitución el artículo the. Uh -huh. Si no lo sabían. Una cosa más. The, antes de una consonante se pronuncia the. The, como D de dedo E. The. Antes de una vocal se pronuncia the. Sería the United States of America, the apple, the orange. Okay? So, let's continue, guys. We were talking about more examples. So, let's do another one. Let's continue. We have to make sure that you know this, how to use the frequency adverbs. Okay? I need a volunteer. Well, I, I never, I never, I'm... <laughs> okay, let's go first with Iris and then we will with Kenya, okay? Okay. I always sleep early. Excellent. I always sleep oops, early. Okay. Hey, one thing. Cuando tenés dos palabras terminando con la misma S, no haces una pausa. Pone atención. Muy bien. Decís, I always sleep early. I always sleep early. ¿Diferencia? I always sleep early. No, no empieza con E esta palabra. Y ese es el error común que cometemos todos. No se preocupen. Para eso estamos acá. So, una vez más. It is, creo. Oh, yo había hecho una también con sleep. <laughs> okay. I, ever, I ever sleep in the night. Hmm, I ever? Hmm. Sería I never. Ajá, oh, esa era, yo, esa había hecho yo. <laughs> Ahora bien, in the morning. <laughs> ¿alguien me puede ayudar acá? ¿Qué estaría mal en esta oración? Mm. Ah. Ahí no se sale de la noche. Ok, ajá, in the in night. The night. Pero, ¿qué será lo que está mal? In the night. I, ne I, I never sleep in at the night. night. At night. At night. Very good, ok. Oh. Ya sabemos. <laughs> yes, very good. <laughs> Ok, igual les voy a enviar algo para reforzar eso. Uh, give me just one second. Ok, les voy a enviar una cosita más. Una pregunta, cuando cambio de pantalla siempre miran gris la pantalla. ¿Sigue pasando no. eso? No. 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 Ok, ya lo corregimos entonces. Le voy a enviar esta imagen súper rápido, ok, para corregir eso. Tengo in the morning, parts of the day, con la preposición in y at. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Pero 
at night. At night. Okay. At night. Just be careful. We say ah. at night, no in the night. Y no se preocupen, eso es muy común. Lo importante es corregirlo lo más pronto posible. Okay. Good. Yes. Ahorita les envío esto. Igual está quedando todo grabado. Recuerden que cada imagen que les voy mostrando, ahí la pueden ver también. Okay, let's continue. Let's see. Another volunteer. Jump. <laughs> I sometimes jump in the night. Again, in the night? Oh, at, at night. At night. No, uh, <laughs> no, 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 at night. Okay. Tonight is esta noche. Okay. okay. I sometimes jump at night. Okay. That's good. Let's go with dream. Dream. Let's make it negative. Negative. I never dream with you. <laughs> okay. No. I never uh, dream. What about dream with? We, Is it with you. Mm. Otro conector podemos ocupar. Another connector with. I never dream with you. Somebody? With the bitch. Uh -huh. About you. Excellent. There you go. That sounds better, right? Siempre mm -hmm. pregúntanse, ¿qué suena mejor? With you, uh, about you. Yeah. yeah? Porque yeah. with, ahí sería muy traducido literal del español al inglés. Mm -hmm. With you. Contigo, about you, acerca de ti, contigo. Yo, yo tengo una también con dream. Ok, veamos. Eh, I, I, I need dreams things beautiful. Ok, ahí diría la... Eh, I, I never dream, I never, no, I always dream things beautiful. Okay. Can somebody help me and cor correct correct this uh, this sentence? Beautiful things, beautiful things. Excellent. Who's correcting, Maria? Who's talking, Maria? Gloria? No, I am. Yes. Teacher, in the first sentences. Which one? Uh, I never dream the, about. Never. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, is is correct says with you is correct but yes it is is better say about excellent thank you uh, carlos okay correct it's, it's, it's good. both are correct but if you use with it's very very spanglish okay. spanglish it goes from okay. spanish okay. to english but right away song, okay song. Thank you, thank you. Singer use this. Uh, gramaticalmente, this gramaticalmente está correcto, pero más natural debería de ser about. Um, one more thing, entonces alguien me corregía. I always dream things beautiful. ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué va antes beautiful, antes de things? Because it's an adjective. Perfect, Emperatrix. Yes. Sí, chicos. En inglés los adjetivos califican a los nombres. Van antes en sí. español. Y de nuevo, volvemos al mismo tema de la, de la oración anterior, ¿ves? El hecho de que, eh, que suena bien y que no suena bien. ¿Qué es traducido del español al inglés? Yo siempre sueño cosas bonitas. Bonita. No, es bonitas cosas, digamos. Los adjetivos en inglés van primero. Excellent. Very good, Emperatriz. Okay, and the last one. Right. Repeat. Right. 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 Okay. Right. I, never, I never write uh, letters. 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 I never write letters. Right. 
Letters. Letters. Le letters. Ok, ¿cómo pronunciamos eso? Letters. 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 Very good, guys. Yes, that's awesome. Ok, este día igual yo les voy a enviar un link eh, para que ustedes puedan practicar eh, esto de escuchar, repetir. Y ahí van a poder ustedes, permítanme, hay mucha interferencia. Ok, yo les voy a enviar un link para que ustedes puedan practicar. En ese link solo le van a dar clic a los, a, a los, al índice para que ustedes puedan escuchar el audio y les va a salir el, um, la transcripción del audio. So, así como hemos ido viendo, veíamos ayer un audio de do you, How often do you exercise? y todos los ejemplos. Es lo mismo, solo que ahí ustedes van a poner pausa, van a poder ver todo el texto y lo importante de eso es que ustedes escuchen y repitan, escuchen y repitan. Es la mejor manera para aprender pronunciación, ¿ok? Y como si no logran captar con su oído, pueden hacer lo que yo acabo de hacer, escribir tal y como ustedes escuchan con su lenguaje ya nativo de español, bajo esa palabra, cómo se pronuncia, ¿sí? Si yo escucho que aquí la I que está ahí se lee como I, voy a poner I. ¿Ya? Never se lee never. Right. ¿Cómo se oye? Right. Right, no sé. Ustedes pueden decir great, great, great. Sí, right, great, right. O sea, es difícil, ¿eh? Pero al final tienen que encontrar una manera de asimilar lo que escuchan, ¿ok? Good, so vamos a hacer un ejercicio súper rápido. We're going to uh, practice together. So we are 15. Se escucha mucho eh, feedback, como que alguien me tiene en parlante para que toda la colonia escuche, permítanme. Sí. <laughs> ok, I'm going to split the group, ok, in smaller groups. Tu misión ahorita va a ser, pues, armar cinco oraciones cada uno, ok, solo cinco oraciones cada uno en ese grupito, asegurarse de haber entendido. Es más, vamos a hacer una cosa. Como ya vimos el presente simple en este grupo, vamos a practicar el presente simple en positivo, negativo y pregunta, ocupando adverbios de frecuencia. Entonces, vamos a cambiar la dinámica. Solo hace dos. Es decir, que vas a hacer un total de seis oraciones. ¿Por qué? Vas a hacer dos positivas, dos negativas y dos preguntas cerradas. O abiertas, si querés. Ok, cerradas abiertas, pero dos positivas, dos negativas y dos preguntas. Pueden ser abiertas o cerradas esas dos. Ok, ¿alguna pregunta? ¿Questions? Usa, usando los adverbios. Dicho. Usando los adverbios, positivo, negativo o pregunta. Es un reto que les estoy poniendo. Los voy a dividir en grupos y vamos a hacer eso y voy a ir verificando grupo por grupo en el tiempo que nos queda para asegurarnos de que hemos comprendido lo que hemos visto hasta ahora, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Bien. Voy a dividirlos ahorita en grupos. Un segundo. Bien, voy a hacer pequeños, muy pequeños los grupos. Ahí vamos, ¿ok? Vamos aceptando la invitación. Ok, genial. <laughs> There you go. Eh, no sé, bueno, tengo dos oraciones, pero bueno, una negativa y una positiva. No sé, no sé si alguien quiere empezar. Ok, o I'm empiezo going to start. Yo. 
I'm going to start right now. Ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. Two positive. Sure. Uh -huh. Two positive. I sometimes okay. go to the supermarket. Okay. Second one. I always sleep early. Ne I never read books. I never eat hamburgers. Okay. The two questions. How often do you cook? How often do you watch TV? Okay, I finish. Who is uh, the okay. next? You, Oscar, or Eric? Uh, um, I think uh, Eric. Uh, I have. I don't have the, the question. <laughs> okay, Eric. Hello, Eric. Entonces hágalo usted, Oscar, porque Eric quizás no nos escucha. Mm, ok, ok. Es que solo tenía. Es que la estaba haciendo, pero ahorita voy a hacer las que tengo. Tomen su tiempo. I write about Shakespeare. ¿Sí? This is one. Uh -huh. Well, negative. Uh -huh. I never sleep. In the afternoon, uh -huh. I never, I never eat junk food. Uh -huh. And then I hardly, hardly ever jogging in the afternoon. Uh -huh. And question. No, no question. I no, I don't have it. Ahí sí, sí, no, no, no las tengo. Solo eso, eso le iba a preguntar al teacher de que, uh -huh. que me ayudaran las cuestiones. Ok, ¿cuál es la pregunta? Eh, bueno, de hecho, la pregunta no la hice, teacher, pero este, esa parte es la que yo no, no, no he quedado muy, muy claro. O sea, para la forma de, de, de hacer la oración, pues, o la pregunta, pues. La pregunta. Ok. Uh -huh. How often, podrías decir, how often do you eat hamburgers? Creo que tu pregunta era, I hardly ever eat hamburgers, decía, ¿verdad? Uh, no, jogging. Oh, I hardly ever go jogging. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. In the afternoon. In the afternoon, ok. Yes, yes. Entonces, Do you hardly hello, ever? Hello, ¿Podría? Yes. Oh, oh, creo que está el compañero Eric, creo. Hello, hello. Sí, ya lo escuchamos. Eh. Ah, ah, ok. No tenía problemas ahí con, con mi aparato. Hoy sí lo escuchamos. Okay. Muy bien. Sí, sí. Hoy sí. sí. Eh, contestándole hello. Oscar, sería: Do you hardly ever uh, go jogging? Do you hardly ever go jogging? Go oh. jogging. 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 Oh, jogging. Ajá. Oh, ok, ok. Ok, ahora, tiene dos opciones. Una pregunta cerrada. Do you hardly ever go jogging? Y sigo utilizando el hardly ever, el verbo de frecuencia. O la Ajá. hago abierta y digo, how often do you go jogging? How often, ok, ok. How often how do you often. go jogging? O do you go, do you hardly ever go jogging? Okay. ¿Ya? Thank you, teacher. Ok, bien, chicos. Me llega, sigue practicando. Tengo dos, sí, Eric. Tengo dos, tengo dos oraciones. Uh -huh. uh, I never play soccer on the morning. Ok, sería in the morning. In the morning. I never play soccer in the morning. Uh -huh. And, uh, I always drink coffee on the morning. Ok, la primera sería de negativa, estás negando con never. Uh -huh. okay. I never, I never play soccer okay. in the morning. Y la otra sería positiva. Uh -huh. I always drink coffee in the morning. Ya, yeah. ¿cuál sería la pregunta? Uh, how, how often uh, do you... Drink coffee. Perfect. Ahí vamos. Muy bien. Uh -huh. 
Okay, guys, continue practicing. I'll be back, okay? Okay. Thank you. Hello? Do you, Hello? Do you ever, did you ever walk in the park? You ever? Did you ever? Do you ever uh, walk in the uh, park? Can, okay, do, okay. Do Mira, you Patricia, ever? Hola? Patricia, we, Hola. Can, we can use the other. For example, uh, how often? How often? Ah. How often? How often? How often? Ah. <laughs> We can, uh, yes, because we did use do you ever and now how often? How often? How often? Do you cook? No. How often? How often? Do you walk? Do you walk? In the park? Do you walk? In the park? You good? Uh huh. Okay. In the park. Ya tenemos las dos. Tenemos uno con do y el y el how. ¿Cómo, yes. okay. ¿Cómo queda? ¿Cómo queda la última? How often? How often? Uh huh. Do you walk in the park? Uh -huh. How often do you walk in the park? In the park. Yes. Okay, there is, a, there is another way, there is another way that you can make uh, that question. Do you usually walk in the park? Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. And this is, this is a, a closed question. You can only say, yes, I do. Yes, I usually do. Oh no, no, I don't. Oh no, I never do. Or no, I don't usually do it. No, Mire, I. Este, teacher, yo pensaba que las preguntas solo podrían ser do you ever and how often. Uh, no. Okay. How often do you work? Do you? Uh -huh. Sí. Uh -huh. la... How often do you? Ahí ya no agrego el verbo de frecuencia, sino que often sería el verbo de frecuencia. Ajá. ¿Viste lo que hice, Carlos? How often no, did, no, no, no. Ok, repitámoslo. Ok, tengo una pregunta cerrada. Y la regla general de toda regla gramatical o tiempo gramatical dice que la pregunta cerrada empieza con el auxiliar de ese tiempo gramatical. Estamos viendo el presente, ¿no? Sí. Ok. Una pregunta cerrada. Solo puedo decir sí o no. La quiero hacer abierta la pregunta. Entonces, agrego una WH. Mm. How often? Y quito el adverbio de frecuencia que te está ocupando. Quito usually y ahora dice How often do you walk in a park? Ok. Ya no pregunto si usualmente corres en el parque en la noche o, o como sea. Sí, sí, claro. Ajá. ¿Con, o qué ahora... frecuencia, ¿Con qué frecuencia tú? Ta, ta, ta. Ajá. Correcto. Okay. Bien. O sea, que la, o sea que la diferencia de esos, del how often y el, y el do, y el do con el adverbio, es que una es abierta y una es cerrada. Correcto. Hay diferentes maneras de preguntar, igual que en el español. Ok. Uh -huh. Te pregunto, ¿usualmente te bañas en las mañanas, Carlos? Yes. Oh. No, oh. no, I not. Okay, con este oh, clima, man. con este clima, o te pregunto, ¿con qué frecuencia te bañas en la mañana? Oh, <laughs> Así, por favor. Oh, ok. Oh, ok, I'll be back. Okay. Teacher, teacher, está, yes. eh, está bien, me quedó duda de la que hicimos de eh, uh -huh. positivo, que quiero poner, yo suelo correr en la mañana. Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? Okay. Entonces, I usually run in the morning. No. La traducción es lo que le está causando ese glitch, ese problemita ahí. I usually run in the morning. Yo usualmente corro en la mañana. Es lo uh -huh. que estoy diciendo acá. Si yo quiero decir que yo suelo por rutina ah. hacer algo, 
Por hábito, Ajá. por hábito hacer algo, es lo que veíamos en el chat que ocupaba. Ah, ya, ya lo entendí, sí. ¿Ya? Ajá. Sí, yo estoy afirmando que siempre suelo correr en la mañana, ¿verdad? Y no Correcto. es así, sino que yo lo que tengo que decir es que yo usualmente... Ajá. Lo que usted bien. dijo textualmente sería, I am sí. used to run in the morning. Pero eso es para hablar de hábitos eh, que solemos hacer. Ese tema es muy extenso, el used to, ¿ok? Pero lo veremos más adelante. Ajá, bien. ¿Ok? Thanks. You're yes. welcome. Bien, chicos. Okay. Thank you. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No. no. no, no ok, no, no. bien, voy con otro grupo. Bye. Gracias. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hi, teacher. Keep going. Ahora, ahora sí me aparecen las pantallitas. Yeah, uh, teacher, we have uh, many statements, right? You know me? Uh, one of that is this, how often do you play soccer? I usually, we never play, we usually never play soccer. I don't know if you are be able to hear me, teacher? Yeah. Ah, yeah. You said, we usually never play soccer. We are used to at Sin first. Never. Sin and never. Oh, Sin we usually, never. okay, we usually play soccer. Good, el ejercicio yeah. es positivo, okay. Let's go with negative. Pero ya que lo puso, se puede así, teacher. We usually never. ¿Tendría sentido? Usualmente nunca. <laughs> no, no tarot. No, verdad, no puedes. <laughs> Bueno, Sería bien, como bien, hablar bien. de la sexta bien. décima. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Sí, es como estar este... Teacher. Bien. Dime, José. Look, look. Then, uh, the answer would be, then the answer would be, we never play soccer at the stadium. I yeah. guess, I don't know. The answer, uh, well, this is a positive sentence. We usually play soccer. Uh, that's the positive. The negative will be, you said, José, we never, we never play soccer. We never play soccer. Okay. At the stadium. At the stadium. Okay. And to neglect, we can also say we don't ever. We don't ever. Okay. This we it's don't ever play uh, soccer. Uh, it's, it's a very idle teacher. It's that. If we able that teacher. The error, uh, no te comprendo, perdón, José. Si es válido. Oh, yeah. Valid. It is valid. valid, yes. It is valid, yeah. We don't ever play soccer. Okay, uh, we, play soccer. we don't ever play soccer. Don't ever is, is the same as never. Yeah, go ahead, José, sorry. Oh, I, that I want to my classmates participate as well. Uh, Maria Guzman or Felipe, they have statements, right? Oh, okay, but let's finish this example. What's the question? Uh, how often do you wash the dishes? Oh, okay. How often do you wash the dishes? Bien, super rápido. Uh, about about the first statement, the question would be how how often do you practice soccer or how often do you play soccer? How often do you play soccer? Si quiero hacer una pregunta cerrada, se lo voy a decir en español súper rápido. Uh, podría decir, do you wash the dishes uh, very often? Podría decir very often. Dishes. Perdón, el typo. Ok, dishes. So, para, so for the close uh, uh, sentence. Dishes. Uh, Austin, the 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 purposes in the, in the end. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay. This is okay. very often. Okay. So okay. This is very often. So you see, it's a close question, and here you can only say you can only answer yes, I do, or no, I don't. Um, yeah. There is a difference. Open okay. question, close question. Okay. Good guys, I have to go back to the other classrooms before we come back. Okay, I'm gonna 
ask you to come back right now, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. See? Oh, no, I can't say it. I can't say it. Perdón. Quiero volver. Ah, ya, cierto. Está silenciado, teacher. Teacher. Okay, good. Thank you. So, we're back. Do you have any questions? I, me, sería bueno. Me, yeah, perfect. Cuando, cuando se refiere a jaulón, se refiere al tiempo que uno invierte en hacer una dicha actividad, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo puede ser dos horas al día? Okay, ambos cosas. Uh, yo puedo preguntar, how long, how long does it take? Esa es una muy buena pregunta. How long does it take to get to your house? ¿Cuánto toma llegar a tu casa? Okay. Pero también puedo preguntar, how long is the table? ¿Qué estaría preguntando? De largo de, Lo largo de, la, de, de la mesa. Exacto, la medida de la mesa. How long is your hair? How long is your hair? ¿Hasta dónde te llega el pelo? El cabello. El cabello, correcto. Ok. Good question. Bien, eh, veíamos entonces ahora cómo formular preguntas con how often. Okay, es necesario que sigan practicando y súper rápido. Nos quedan tres minutos nada más. Vamos a ver algo con la Temblo, página. ¿verdad? Teacher, está temblando. Sí, está temblando. Ya terminó. ¿Ya? ¿Ya terminó de temblar? Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dios santo, pero falta. Sí, ya, yeah. ok. <risa> ok, bien, vamos a, a ver algo súper rápido antes de despedirnos y es um, asegurarnos de que todos hayan sido parte del de, de Knowledge Check, que era el primero nada más, así, era solo de chequear las respuestas. ¿Quiénes, uh -huh. ¿quiénes no lo han hecho? Okay. El de anoche, teacher. Sí. Yeah, ah, yo, yo no lo he hecho porque no tuve energía eléctrica desde el domingo hasta hoy en la tardecita. Ok, pero me parece que con lo que hemos cubierto hoy le va a ser más fácil, Patricia. Así es, sí. Voy a repasar ¿Sí? un poco. Esto, Vea, ve, veamos, Patricia. Vamos a ver. ¿Cómo sería no, esta? ¿Cómo sería no, esa? ¿Cuál? Do you play sports? Do you ever do you ever play sports? Easy, very good. Yeah. Yes. Ok. Y así, así vamos. Este solo es de ir poniendo los chequecitos. Solo eso tienen que haber completado hasta ahora. ¿Sí? El siguiente quiz está hasta acá, el 1.11. Y aún no hemos cubierto eso. Ok. Mañana hablaremos de pronunciation, intonation with direct address. That's very important. And we're going to get... Vamos a cubrir hasta acá el día de mañana y luego vamos a finalizar, ¿ok? Ok. Thanks. Thank you, teacher. Okay, take Thank care. You. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Take see care. See you tomorrow. Thank see you. you. Tomorrow. Bye. I see you. Thank you. See you tomorrow.